Hello, welcome to the program. I'm your host, Neil Howard, here on Health Professional Radio with Gigi Sorensen, an RN, joining us here to talk about the benefits of telemedicine in pediatric care. Welcome to the program, Gigi Sorensen. Thank you so much for having me on. Well, uh, Gigi, if you would uh, give our listeners a brief background, uh, I did mention, of course, that you're an RN, but um, you're also with Global Med. Yes, I am. So I have the privilege of being the chief clinical officer for Global Med, Mm -hmm. which is an international provider of virtual health solutions or telemedicine solutions. And so my background has been um, in the cardiovascular world, standing up programs, and then the past about 10 years focusing on standing up and developing telemedicine solutions for the country. Telemedicine, um, for those who may not be familiar with the term, what is telemedicine from a, a pediatric standpoint and in general? In general, telemedicine is a type of care delivery that's done virtually where the physician or nurse, whoever is the person providing the care, happens not to be in the same place as the patient is. And so they are connected via um via video and audio connections so that um, an interaction can happen between the two of them just as if they were in the same place. And what it does is it allows an increased access for care. Are pediatricians readily using telemedicine, telehealth in their practices? Is this something that's uh, quite normal in pediatrics? It's becoming more and more accepted, Neil, in the pediatric world and in uh, the delivery of care overall. In fact, um, from uh, 2016 to 2017, the use of virtual care connections um, went up about 53%. So more and more providers are using this avenue in order to connect with their patients. What is it about telemedicine that I guess is the grab when you're explaining to someone or you're giving a conference and you're talking about the benefits in pediatric care? What is it about the technology that usually makes the lights go on, giving that that practice or that physician the mental go ahead to go ahead and and, uh, come into the 21st, as it were? (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. I think what it is is that providers are being faced more and more with the challenge of connecting to more and more patients. And there just isn't enough time in the day. Um, And also those pediatricians that happen to have extra specialties attached to them um, are fewer and fewer uh, in, in availability across the country. And so by being available not just into the specific geographic region where they live, but being able to reach out and branch out. The other place where telemedicine comes in, in that access to care type of environment, it uh, using virtual care can break down all the geographical barriers. It can also start to break down some of the traditional time barriers of office hours where families are able to connect with their pediatricians in not stereotypical type of office hours. So families don't have to take time off of work to get care for their young one or services that they would need, whether it's a provider, a physician, a nurse practitioner, a dietitian, whatever it is. So a, a caregiver has done the research and they've, de- they've decided that they're going to adopt telehealth as part of their practice. In your experience, who uses telehealth? In the pediatric world, you have two beneficiaries of a telemedicine visit. One is the child who gets to be seen by the specialty provider that they need, whether it's their pediatrician or a subspecialty pediatrician. Like I said, other disciplines in the pediatric world can benefit and and have expertise in the telemedicine world, dietitians, therapists, et cetera. But then the second beneficiary of virtual health in the pediatric environment are the parents Um, because being able to schedule or not have to take schedule a visit so they don't have to take time off of work. They don't have to worry that it's after hours and so um, their office isn't open. So then do I have to take my child to an urgent care or an emergency department, which is extremely expensive and inefficient. Um, They can connect to their provider in this virtual environment. And also it helps uh, the parents even just drop their their stress or the anxiety of, is this even worth a full out in-person visit or is it just a check-in I can do virtually 
and save a lot of time and effort and stress on the child too. Um, there's some children that are seen by specialty pediatricians, say if they're on the autism spectrum or something, going into a noisy pediatric office can be quite upsetting to some children. Or you're trying to do a well child visit and you have to take your child into an office that's full of a number of very sick children, especially during flu season. Having the ability to bypass that type of environment is quite beneficial to both child and parent. Yeah, changing location can be quite stressful. I mean, picking up your household, you're changing schools, maybe daycares, all of the things that go, that go along with moving. Sometimes kids, and when you're talking about these specialties, uh, some of these special conditions, they change physicians two, three, who mm -hmm. knows how many times during the course of their care. And if it's lifetime care, who knows? Do you find that a child benefits and, and the family from maybe being able to stay with one physician virtually no matter where they are? Is that one of the oh. benefits? Yes, absolutely. That's probably one of the key things, and that comes into the continuity of care delivery, especially with children that have very um, unique needs, uh, physical needs or behavioral needs or whatever. Having that same provider follow the child through their ages, um, it doesn't matter where they are geographically, um, being able to, to see um, improvements or regressions in their in their disease state or in their impairment is, is critical. So having that same set of eyes on a child um, for a number of years is so important. It's also extremely reassuring to parents who don't have to then repeat multiple times over, here's the background of my child, here's the meds they have been on, here's the meds that work and that don't work, and here's the tests that they've had. Having to retell that story is, is quite stressful. And also, you, you're prone to errors or omissions having to retell a story over and over again. So having a record with a child and a provider all together for a number of years is, is so important. Does Global Med um, involve itself in the educating of uh, parents or uh, the parents of patients who may not be as technologically savvy as other patients? A lot of the children, as they progress, you know, with the pediatrician, may be a lot more familiar with some of the tech than the parents who are taking them, <laughs> you know, to the doctor. What do you what do you find um, when it comes to educating some folks who may not be uh, savvy? Is that something that Global Med assists with uh, with some of their uh, physician clients? Yeah, absolutely. When we are speaking with a physician. Um, about bringing a virtual care option into their practice. We spend a lot of time um, educating the staff who can then um, talk to family members and, and patients so that we can provide them with educational tools, tips, et cetera. Um, like you said, children are very comfortable in virtual environments. And um, parents, sometimes it takes a little bit of time, but becoming more and more used to apps and downloads and you know, FaceTiming, you know, their family members. And this is a, a much more secure and high tech. And not only is it just a face, but you're passing along important data. And so however we can work with a provider practice in setting up um, education and marketing tools for them so that they can provide their families with here are the benefits of this type of visit. Here's how to be successful in this type of visit. And it's also imperative that we help teach the providers who will be giving uh, the care via telemedicine so that they appear natural, relaxed, comfortable with the technology. And that's where Global Med excels, that the technology we do provide and uh, put into these practices is very easy to use, very user-friendly, and so it doesn't disrupt a normal workflow if at all possible. Where can we go and get some more information about telemedicine as it applies to pediatrics? Uh, we would be happy. To, there are a number of blogs that we have posted on our globalmed.com website mm -hmm. and um, easy reading, very quick reads. And so that is one place to go for, um, for great information. Gigi, thank you so much for joining us here on Health Professional Radio. Oh, thanks so much, Neil, for inviting me. I really enjoyed it. 
You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.